Some folks wanted some clarification on how I utilize dummy objects in association with paths uh, in iClone, and uh, so maybe this will give you a little clarification. This is one way of doing animation. I, I like it, but uh, certainly there are many, many ways to create the same results. Uh, once again, I'm using iClone 5. These techniques will work uh, just as well, as far as I know, in iClone 6. So uh, I've laid out my path, and uh, what I did was create a dummy object. And let's turn that on. There it is right there. And as you know, a dummy object is simply any primitive shape. Any shape can be a dummy, pretty much any prop. Uh, I took a box in this case. I gave it a color. And then, of course, it's important to set as dummy. And once it's set as a dummy, you can use the Control D key to turn it on and off. And you can render it invisible. Now, uh, if you forget to do that and you do your final render, it still will not render in your animation. So that's a good thing. So uh, setting as a dummy is important. So uh, I created this dummy. And then I parented the path to the dummy. So the path is part of and lock to attach to this dummy path right here and if you go down here and look it is attached to the box and uh, then uh, if I select that box then I can move it around I can tweak the placement of it the path if I need to at any point during the animation so that's kind of a good thing as far as I'm concerned it gives me a little more flexibility in the path and of course you can adjust the nodes on the path individually but this is just another way of controlling the path that I, I like. And once again, it's not crucial. Uh, I created a couple of more dummies, uh, one for the skeleton and one for the jungle girl. And I then placed them on the path. And if you'll look here on the uh, skeleton uh, dummy right here, it is attached to the path. I picked the path there. It's at this end of the path. It is oriented correctly. And I've done the same thing for the Jungle Girl as well, uh, dummy. So I've got uh, some more dummies, and they are going to move relative to the avatar's animation. And they've got some keyframes there. Uh, let's now introduce the avatars. Okay, so here's our skeleton. And if you'll notice, he is linked to the box, the dummy object. And of course you remember that avatars can only be linked, they cannot be attached. So he is linked to that. Okay, now here's the jungle girl. And you can see that uh, she is linked to the box as well. And the box is moving along the path actually, and not her, she is linked to the box. The box has then got keyframes along the path. I'll show you that in a second. Now, one other item, uh, dummy object I added was uh, this little red box, and I like to call it uh, a look at dummy. And instead of using the typical look at function, looking at other avatars, looking at other objects, I like to use a dummy object for her to look at. And that way I can control the look at a little bit better. So uh, in her position, let me go back and select her. And then I say uh, pick target. And then now uh, I can adjust the look at dummy uh, for her to look at. You see, and I can uh, kind of control uh, how quickly she looks, and uh, and I have then attached the lookout, uh, the lookout object to her bone root. So when she moves, it's going to move along with her, and that makes it easier to control her lookout, so she can look at various places. So that's a big help as well. Okay, let's take a look at how we did the animation. Now, I'm going to, uh, as you can see here, if we play it, she's going to move along the path uh, because she's linked to this dummy object. I'm going to unlink her from that. And you can see that her animation is really pretty much built all in place. And so I created all my little animation parts and pieces, uh, fine-tuned those, and they are all happening in place. And then I, of course, linked her to this. And then I keyframed the dummy box uh, object along the path. And it has its keyframes. We'll open that up and uh, see if we can find that particular 
object prop here, jungle girl dummy, transforms. And you see it basically has just a couple of simple transform keys here as it moves along, hoping to minimize some of the foot sliding. There's still a little bit there. But if you tweak the timing here, you can get it even better, I would hope. And that's pretty much the same thing I did for the skeleton, uh, is create his animation moves uh, and then linked him to his dummy object on the path and then moved him along. So uh, that's the way I do it uh, for certain scenes. I find it gives me a little more control because uh, what it allows me to do is uh, I can then, if I need the avatar to uh, rotate, let's say, a little bit uh, in position, uh, it's very hard to do if it's on a path, if they're uh, linked to the path. But if they're linked to the dummy object, which is on the path, then I can do some tweaking here and uh, adjust the positioning a little bit easier because it is linked to this dummy. Uh, if I was uh, directly on the path with the avatar, I couldn't do that too well. So uh, this gives me a little more flexibility uh, in that regard. So uh, that's why I use the dummy objects in that respect. And then, of course, I can tweak the entire path with the overall path dummy, and that lets me uh, tweak everything to my desire. So that's the way I did it for this particular sequence. Certainly not the best way. I'm sure there are better ways. Uh, but this is one way you might think about trying to do some animation uh, with iClone.